Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will be creating a soft smoky look. It is actually a requested video from one of my subscribers who requested an alternative smoky eye and doing away with the regular dark browns or black. And she also requested for a nice autumn nude lip. She is quite demanding, you know, but we have to give them what they want. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting with skincare, I will begin first with a toner. And then eye cream. And then the rich cream. And I will finish this skin prep with this Beauty Elixir. Then on to base, I will be using this Studio Scalp from MAC. This is actually my first time using this foundation on myself. But I've used this a number of times on my clients. I'm just really buffing it all over my face just to really even out my skin but I'm not gonna polish it just yet and I'm not gonna do my concealer just yet just really want to even out my skin and then we'll go straight to the eyes And after that foundation, I'm just going to do a bit of lip balm. Onto the eyes, I will begin first with this primer from NARS. Then onto the eyeshadow, I will be working mainly with this palette from MAC and I will begin first with this shell color here. I will just go all over the lid. Using the same brush still, I'm going in with this light gray color now. Now just use that to sculpt my eyelid. So I'm just really packing that color. On the outer corner and then using a floppy brush I'm just going to blend that inwards and upwards
And then using a Benzo brush, I will be going in with this dark gray color. It might look black on the screen, but it is actually like a caviar, dark caviar gray color. I'm just going to deposit that just on the outer corner. I'm going back again with this floppy brush. I'm going to blend that inwards and upwards as well. And then going in with this black pencil, I'm just going to tight line my lash line. And then going with this pencil brush, I'm going to smudge that eyeliner before it sets. So that's the eyeshadow work pretty much done. Now I'm going to color correcting and concealing and I will be using this palette from MAC as well. So I will be using this peachy tone corrector here. And I'm just going back again with this foundation and just really polishing my skin now. And then using this face sculpt stick from Strokes, I'm going to do a bit of facial structuring.
and then I'm going to use this cream blush from Strokes as well. So that's the skin pretty much done, but I'm not gonna powder it just yet because I want all these um, wet products to really merge and settle onto my skin. I will be going with my lashes now, so I will begin first with this eyelash curler. And then this extended play mascara. Now admittedly, this is my first time using this, but I've heard a lot of um, good reviews for it, so I'm giving this a go. So that's my lashes done and I've also applied some false lashes and now I can decide whether I want to do something on my lower lash line and I'm going in with this pencil again just to create a series of dots just on the outer corner. Then going in again with this light gray color, I'm going to smudge that on my lower lash line just to mirror the definition that I have on my top lash line. So it's not so much really defining that lower lash line, but just to really mirror that shadow that I have on the upper lash line. And it's entirely up to you if you want to make it more rounder or just do it straight. Now on the brows, I will be using this duo from MAC as well. I will begin first with this eyebrow styler in Spike. And I'm going to set that with this one. So that's my brows done. Now going to this face palette, I will begin first with this highlighter here. I will just go And then using this color here, I will be using it more like a contouring kind of bronzing effect.
And to set everything in place, I will be using this loose powder from NARS. Then on the lips, I will be using this duo from MAC as well. So lip pencil and lipstick both wear. And then onto this lipstick. And there you have it, a non-conventional smoky eye look. I think this is such a knockout look and it's really giving me Miranda Priestly vibe. This is something you could churn out whenever you're going out or whenever you feel like being fabulous at home. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I love doing it. And as always, if there's any look or challenge that you want me to do for you, just put it down in the comment section and I will try my very best. And I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up Give this channel a follow if you haven't yet and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on my latest updates. My socials are down here as well so let's give each other a follow. And with all that said, I hope to see you again on my next one. Always remember, keep safe and be kind to yourself. Bye!